today we're going to continue talking about the international marketing research. We're going to talk more about detail about primary research. And we look at some sample interview questions. So you can find these documents on the website. Close the door at the back of the room, please. So I'll discuss with your partner what kind of what kind of primary research can we do? I'll discuss ask an answer with your partner. What kind of primary research can we do? Is like uh, focus group. Do you know? Do you understand focus group? Focus group. What is a focus group? Sample of what? Sample of who? Population. Population. Your customers. Okay. And what do you do with them? Research, because uh, they are objects, and we are we we, we can do research. Yes. Yes, but how? How do we do research with them? In the focus group discussion, right? They just sit around, and we have a very open discussion with open questions. So that's more qualitative research and one-on-one, -on -one, asking people's idea, having a discussion, giving their opinion. Okay, it's not as structured. On the other hand, qualitative research uh, is more structured. We can have a yes-no question. Okay, quantitative research. So, for example, a formal questionnaire is a quantitative research. So we have question one, yes or no. Question two, yes or no. Usually we give this to much more people, many more people. Okay, and we use statistics. So here are some typical ones, okay? So we want to write, make questions is an important part, either in the telephone interview, one-on-one -on -one interview, we always need to write the script or the question for the people. So first of all, we develop an outline of the topics we want to talk about. 
we don't ask too many things because it's too confusing. So we try to limit the list to about five things. We start making the questions. Uh, it's different for the different situation. For the focus group, we want open questions to get the most information. So we ask about what do you think? What's your opinion? We have two to five key questions that we can ask. And this is, it takes a long time to make the question, right? We don't just sit down and make the question immediately. We have to think about the question and the vocabulary. Okay, so we have to evaluate the question like this. What type of language does the target audience require? So you have to make it easy to understand so people know what you mean. So you have to think about your customers. Will they understand if you put in the big words? Right? Is the language informal and simple? So look at your question. Is your question, if you read it, is it too hard? Is it too formal? Is it short and understandable? What information? Are you getting the right information you asked for? Right? How broad or narrow is the question? Which is better for a focus group? Broad question or narrow question? No. No. Why? In the focus group you want to have a narrow question where people can only answer yes or no? Mm, narrow question because if you want to get specific information you want to ask it in detail, not only yes or no. Mm -hmm. But in, we want to get the specific information, is that focus group or questionnaire? Questionnaire, right? Focus group, do we want that specific information? We want the general information, okay? About people's ideas and opinions. They could tell me anything. Okay? So, narrow question is better in the questionnaire. Okay? How answerable is the question? Is it easy to answer? How would you feel? So, ask other people the questions. Is the question sensitive? Is the context of the question clear? So we sequence the questions in a logical order. So we start off with a general question and then move to more specific ideas. Okay? So we don't start off by saying, how much would you spend on a car? Okay? And then later ask, do you have a car? Right? Wouldn't make sense. Okay? So we start off with a general question, do you have a car? Then we go on to the more specific question, how much would you spend on the car? If we are doing the questionnaire with a specific question, it's good to have this kind of format. One strongly agree to five strongly di or one strongly disagree to five strongly agree. We can have yes, no, but we can get also one to five scale. Helps us, especially doing statistics. How many people chose four? How many people chose three, two? Okay. Uh, Get feedback. Ask other people about your questions or about your script. Pilot test. Try it on your friends. Okay? And then change it according to the feedback. So, just, it's quite important to have the right questions because we're taking up the people's time. We can't ask too many questions. We can't ask questions which are not relevant that we don't need to know the answers for. Okay? So, Let's have a look at some sample of question, sample interview. So this is like a one-to-one -one interview. So this is an interview between a customer and a supplier. It's lasting around one hour and is intended to understand customer value and satisfaction drivers. So you're a supplier, let's say you're supplying printers to a company, okay? And you want to talk to them about your product and find out about what makes the value and satisfaction for the customer. So you can know how to sell the printer well, not just in this company, the other companies. So sorry, can you close the door? So this is just an example of, a, of an interview. So the first part is the descriptive part. 
Do you understand descriptive? Describe? What does describe mean? What does describe mean? To explain something in written language. Okay. So you're just letting the other person at the start just describe about your product and so on. Okay? So, uh, you ask them, they also have their own customers. Okay, so you're, it's business to business, so you, let's say that we're talking about your, you are selling printers. Who, who would buy printers? Business. Right, let's say the, at the main gate we have the bookshop, right? They buy the printer to print out, okay? Then they have their customers who buy, you guys buy the book from there, right? You buy some book, let's say the place at the main gate. So, that's an example. Okay, but it could be any relationship like this, business to business, right? B to B, okay? To C, okay? So we're here selling to another business. A lot of we always think, we cannot think of marketing, a lot of people usually think of marketing as L'Oreal selling to the customer, right? But a lot of marketing is business to business also. A lot of products are sold from businesses to other businesses. So we have to also understand that one. So we ask the person about their customers. What's your market position? What is the relationship with your customers? Who are the customers buying from you? Okay, so describe the main functional features that affect your customer behavior. So what's going to help you to have more customers? Okay, and then other features that affect the customers. Okay, so then we, we move on to some more specific questions. Okay, what is the present weight in terms of value of our printers over the total amount of your activities? So it means that uh, how important is our printer to your business? Okay. Uh, what is the role exerted by the printer in your day-to-day -day activity? So, is it very important in your day-to-day -day activity? Who is responsible for buying printers? What is the buying process? So, uh, this is the descriptive part. And then we move on to the benefits and attributes part. So here we have different types of questions here. We have direct laddering, and projective laddering, comparative laddering, and negative laddering. So different ways of making the question. <coughs> so direct is just when buying our product, what are the main features that you take into consideration and why? So we have try to identify the features and the benefits. Do you understand features and benefits? What are the features of a printer? Print, paper, print. Mm -hmm. Size, color, right? The design. What is the benefit of the printer? I don't need to write this code. Yes, okay. So we ask them what are the main features and benefits of our product? Very direct, okay? Projective means think of project. You understand projector. Think about how somebody else would think. Okay. So ask them. What about your other colleagues or other buyers? Do they think the same as you, or do they have other features and benefits that they like too? Okay. So that's projecting. They project their thoughts onto somebody else. Then the comparative question. Which are the three first competitors that come to your mind? Right? Other printer companies, like HP makes printers, Xerox, okay? So, why do you prefer our printers to HP's printers? Why do you prefer this to this, okay? So, it's a comparative question. Do you understand comparing? Yeah. And then negative question. Why would you finish with us? Why would you change your printer supplier? What would cause you to change? Why? Okay? Uh, then we can have just an uh, open question. Describe a very positive relationship you had before with a supplier. Okay? What was the consequences or what was the positive relationship you had? 
So it means that just they talk about generally uh, what they think is important in the relationship okay, between the supplier and the customer. So this is just an example of a one-to-one -one interview. Okay, so uh, we make uh, <coughs> the start off with the descriptive part, move into asking about the benefits and attributes and features of the product. Okay, we can use different four different types of questions. So. Uh, just, we're going to do some activity in the class, so just we're going to sit together with our group. It may be that I said you don't have to do <coughs> primary research for your, your project, but if you like, uh, you can, if you do primary research, you can get some extra marks, right? But now we're just going to make, with our group, make a questionnaire. Okay? Just imagine, you don't, you don't have to use it, but we're going to practice making a questionnaire, okay? Designing some primary research. So I want you to make a questionnaire of three to five questions for quantitative research. Okay? Do you understand quantitative research? Yes. Yeah. So you're going to do some quantitative research about your product. Okay? So we have to think about this one that we just talked about. Okay? Evaluating our questions. Okay? Finding the best questions. So we're discussing with our group what kind of information do we need to know, okay? And then we'll write some questions, okay? If you want later, you could use, look at doing an online survey or finding the email address or telephone number of some people and doing that kind of thing, okay? So sit together with your team. Are you sitting together with your team? You can move the desk to make more comfortable. We're going to work on this for the rest of this first class. Well, that means we have uh, about 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Produce between three and five questions, okay? That you think if you did some primary research, um, there would be important questions that you would ask. <laughs> so you should know your product and the country you're selling it in, right? So what kind of questions would you ask? people about your product. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't have the resource to do a focus group, right? We could do maybe a web questionnaire, right? So it's just a question for the general people. Quantitative research. So remember, you can make your question with the answer one to five, right? One strongly disagree. Five strongly agree, also, right? So you can do some statistic. What's your product? Hmm? 
Are you business to business? You're selling flowers to the florist, I You're not selling flowers to the customer, right? But you're selling flowers to the business. Oh, you're selling plants more than flowers?
ask the questions of the speaker.
find out about the culture and the economic and political and legal environment, about the competition and our company, and also when we do the plan, we need to decide about this thing we are going to study in the second part of the course, right? How to adapt the product, promotion, distribution, packing and price, okay? You need to make a plan for all those things. So, a lot, there's a lot of secondary research about these areas, culture and economic area, right? Legal and political area. And uh, maybe competition, these kind of things, we need to ask questions. Okay? Primary research. So think about those things. Those are the things you need to do for your plan when you're asking your question. Because you want to get the information which is relevant. Okay? 